Hey folks and welcome to Ahad's Automotive. Today we have with us the Nissan Kicks. Now the variant we have with us is the XV Premium Option, the top of the line trim. Now the Kicks is put up against the Hyundai Creta. So is it any better than the Hyundai Creta? Now starting at the front of the vehicle, it's got a very mature SUV-like design. It's got the traditional Nissan V-grille accompanied by some smart sharp headlamps. Now the headlamps in question are projector based with an LED DRL running along here and the indicator here. Coming a bit down, we have the LED cornering fog lamps. And let's take a look at the V-chrome grille. And one more thing is that right below the Nissan emblem is the front camera. It's a part of the 360 degree camera provided by Nissan on the top spec variant. Coming towards the side of the vehicle, as you can see, since this is the topmost variant, we do have a dual tone roof option. The rims are 17 inch in size. It's got disc brakes at the front. Taking a look at the side view mirror, it's got an indicator as well as another camera as part of the 360 degree camera. The side steps here are an additional accessory. And as you can see, the glass area of the car is quite big and gives a quite roomy cabin inside. And this black finish over here is mate and this orange over here is gloss so it gives a good co contrast now coming to the rear of the nissan kicks it's very smartly designed as you can see the tail lamps have this pinched effect it does look like a hatchback but then not too much of hatchback i must say the rear wash wiper the twin dual tone roof with the shark fin antenna and this roof rails they're not just for style they're functional as well Coming down a bit, we have the reflectors, parking sensor, rear fog lamp and the reflector as well. As you can see, the exhaust is not easily visible, it's neatly designed and the spare tire is not in the boot. Opening it up, as you can see, it's very well spaced boot. And no spare tire because the spare tire for this vehicle is located below the rear bumper. Now one more thing I must say is this, the rear parking camera, part of the 360 degree camera system. Now to get inside the Nissan Kicks, all you have to do is walk up to the car and press the smart access button. Now the key for the Nissan Kicks is not a normal key, it's sort of smart card type as you can see. Now this can either go in your pocket or preferably inside your wallet. Now this goes inside my pocket, let's open it up. There you go. As you can see, the interior is quite well finished and in this top of the line variant, you do get leather seats, dual leather seats actually. Now this particular variant has 7 airbags as you can see. Now coming to the door, 
as you can see the armrest is finished in leather soft touch the window control switches over here the entire panel is finished in carbon fiber this is the rear view mirror adjuster now let's get inside now once you're inside the cabin of the Nissan Kicks, it feels really good. Now since this does have the smart key system, left foot on the clutch, press the start button, and the car comes to life. Now the interesting part over here is the hybrid instrument cluster. Why is it hybrid? It's got a digital speedometer in the center flanked by on the left an analog rpm and on the right an analog fuel meter now the fuel meter is quite big it's not just for you i guess even the person in the next car can see how much fuel you have left now on the top of the digital speedometer is your digital mid multi information display now to control your digital display your buttons are over here now coming back as you can see it has a range current fuel efficiency your average fuel consumption fuel use till point and this is your odometer as well as trip meter now this is your outside temperature vessel clock average speed and distance from start now right below the speedometer as you can see there are a couple of warning symbols over there and something different from other cars is that this is called the European layout where you have your wiper stocks on the right and the indicator and headlamp stock on the left. Now taking a look at the steering wheel of the Nissan Kicks it's adequately sized as well as it's quite brilliantly finished it's even got a carbon fiber finish on the bu the buttle console over here so this is for your cruise control increase and decrease speed and this is to reset as well as set now you'll be thinking in such an expensive car which almost retails for around 18 lakhs on road where's the audio controls well it's a bit weird but there you go that's your audio controls volume up volume down and the buttons on the top to accept decline call and for source. If you come to this side, you have the headlamp leveler, the console illumination control, your eco mode, as well as your switching on and switching off of the cruise control. Now, another major point of the kicks is the huge 8 inch multimedia touchscreen display, which has Android Auto as well as Apple CarPlay. And this is the same display that it uses to display the 360 degree camera. Now let me take you to the different functions of the system. Now we have the brightness that switches from auto to night mode and back to auto. This is seek track, your audio button to go through various audios that is the custom sources that is AM, FM, USB, Bluetooth. Now this is the main menu to get back to when you go to a particular menu. Your phone button if you plug your phone through Bluetooth and this is your camera button. Pressing it once gives us a 360 degree camera. The rear, front, left, right and rear again. Pressing it again gives you the view of the rear camera as well as the left camera. This can avoid a lot of blind spot problems. Let's hit the camera button again and we're back to where we started. This is your hazard button and this is your lock button to lock the car in one go. Now it does, does have speed sensing door locks. Now coming a bit down we do have the automatic AC controls. Now one point to note is that automatic climate control is standard in the Nissan Kicks you do get it in all the variants right from the base so this is your temperature knob to set your temperature this is your speed fan control this is to off the AC weirdly enough there's no there's no switch on AC because it's on by default this is your blower settings and this is your recirculation button and this is your demister 
and coming a bit down from there we do have a smart start stop button it's difficult to get used to but then it's a good placement your USB and aux and your 12 volt socket the Nissan kicks only comes with a manual transmission for now and the diesel which we are driving does have six ratios and it's finished quite well even on this test drive vehicle now we do have the handbrake over here which is a normal type not the electronic one an armrest which is fixed and it's quite well built I must say now one more highlight of the Nissan Kicks is that it's got a leather finish dashboard over here it's very soft touch it's brilliantly finished and as you can see it runs across the length of the car now above here we do have the electrochromic mirror it's an automatic one no manual over here and this aircraft style seat belt warning uh, it it has a seat belt warning here and over here it has a airbag off display in case the airbag is switched off now we have the lights above here it switches on completely or you can just switch it on individually here we have the mic for the Bluetooth now let's get in the back seat and see if that's any good Getting into the back seat of the Kicks is quite easy. You just step into the car rather than climbing into it. And once you're inside, this is the amount of knee room you have. And the under thigh support is quite decent. It does have rare aircon vents, individual for two passengers. As you can see, the range is quite good. And you do have a 12 volt socket to charge your electronic device. Now, this is the minimum legroom that's available when you push the seat all the way back and it does the passenger seat does have a storage compartment over here taking a look at the rear seats we do have an armrest with cup holders pushing it back it gives you decent enough space to sit three abreast as you can see the door finishes exactly the same leather for armrest and the window switch console is finished in fox carbon fiber and this dull finish for the door handle as well overall I rate the rear seat space of the Nissan Kicks close to the Hyundai Creta even the headroom is quite good over here what powers the Nissan Kicks is a 1.5 litre diesel engine now this is the sound of the engine at idle now with the engine shut off you can see how the engine base packed there's no space left as the engine base completely utilized now it's a 1.5 liter diesel engine which produces 110 PS and 250 Newton meters of torque and as I said before it's paired to a six-speed manual transmission and I must say the drivability of the vehicle is really good. It's got great pickup and it's got brilliant drivability as well. Is the Nissan Kicks better than the Hyundai Creta? The exterior design for starters. The Nissan has the global Nissan SUV design language all over it. The V-chrome grille, the smart sharp headlamps, the pinched in tail lamps all give the Nissan a good looking exterior. The Hyundai on the other hand has the fluidic sculpture design which is mature but then again it's up to a certain person's taste on how the exterior of the car should look like. The build quality 
is on par. There's no point where the Hyundai is better than the Nissan. Now coming to the interior, both look good in their own way. The Nissan has an added visual appeal thanks to the leather finish on the dashboard, which gives it a bit more premium look. And quality wise, I must say the Hyundai is a bit ahead in this department. Now equipment wise, equipment wise again, the Krita does have cool seats and sunroof which is not available on the Kicks, but the Kicks has a more useful 360 degree camera system. And if I were to choose, I would choose the 360 degree camera over cool seat and sunroof. Coming to the engine, Hyundai has a 1.4 liter diesel, a 1.6 liter diesel and a 1.6 liter petrol. The Nissan has a 1.5 liter petrol and a 1.5 liter diesel. The Nissan's 1.5 liter diesel is the same that does duty on the duster and the capture and what did duty on the Terrano as well. Drivability wise, the Hyundai is better than the Kicks in some ways, but the Kicks is not all that bad. Now, if I were to choose between the Krita and the Kicks, actually it depends on the need. If for some reason you don't want a Hyundai SUV, compact SUV that is, the Kicks is your best option. The Capture already has a 2020 version that's coming out. The Duster is getting a refresh, but it's just a facelift. The newer generation one will only arrive in 2023. All Nissan has to do is provide a brilliant after sale support and the Kicks is a complete product. The vehicle in itself is a brilliant car. It's very well built. It's got perfect equipment. Even the base Nissan Kicks has automatic climate control, ABS2 airbags, a tuned in audio system. So overall, the Kicks is a brilliant vehicle. All Nissan has to do is up their game with the after sale support. And the only downside I see to the Nissan Kicks is that there's no automatic variant on option here if you do want an automatic diesel or petrol compact suv Krita is the only way to go the duster does have an automatic variant but it's cvt for the petrol and an amt an automated manual transmission for the diesel